So yeah, I watched the new Doctor Who episode, Curse of the Black Spot, and I figured I'll do another review. Um, well, I actually thought it was really good. One of the best so far out of the three. I'll, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Why? Because, one, the, the tale is very thrilling and... Although I said in the previous video that I thought the villain would be crap, it turns out it isn't even a villain. It's just a, it's a chilling tale of, tale of where they don't even know if it's a villain or not. That that's and that's what I like when when they make it slightly complicated, but not as complicated as where it's stupid, like in the previous episodes. In this one, it's actually quite good because the creature, the siren, turns out to be a doctor who's basically medically helping the crew who were wounded and the fact that she can appear through reflections is because of the ship being on the other ship and at the same place in the universe in different universes and stuff I thought that was quite good an actual good use to parallel universes better than stupid voids and shit anyway so yeah um. I do like the reusage of a previous bit of music in it. At one point, I don't think you might have not noticed it, but at one point there is a bit where it does in Daleks in Manhattan and Evolution of the Daleks, and I think in a few other Dalek episodes there is a bit of music that is that has been reused, or at least sounds similar to a bit of music that's in this episode. And I thought that was quite good. Sort of reminded me of that. And um Yeah, um I really liked the acting of the pirates. The especially the captain. I think the captain was a really good part. And if if you've watched the prelude to the episode, which is on the BBC website, Doctor Who, there's a prelude to that episode and that was really good. I really enjoyed the prelude. Good short piece of drama there. And I actually think that this was a very um, really good episode. Well written. And if it was written by Moffat, I didn't really watch the title so I don't know if it was written by Moffat. But if it was, it's one of his best. Because really, other than Blink, that's one of the best Moffat written episodes. If it is written by Moffat, I'm not quite sure because I didn't really pay much attention to be fair it's quite late I'm in the dark anyway so yeah quite good episode and the only bad thing is one when Matt Smith's hair is wet it looks ridiculous two and this is another minor thing the stupid woman that appears by that sliding piece of wood and then appears and says something and then disappears Again, it's a bit stupid. It's probably going to be a series build-up of some sort to an end or to another series or something. Like that. And to be fair, whatever the build-up is, it is shite. And another thing is... I didn't really like, again, the pregnancy thing that's going on. Stupid. It's building up tension, but not in a good way. Again, making Doctor Who a little bit more like EastEnders than it is actually supposed to be. It's more of a drama than a sci-fi. Although this one was very science fiction. You think of Pirates of the Caribbean, but science fiction. But all in all, the fight with the sword, a bit pathetic. Not, not what I thought it would be, but it was still quite good. Very enjoyable. And... Amy Pond looks sexy in a pirate costume. And finally, I did enjoy the uh, the tension where you think Rory's going to die, and then he, he doesn't die. I thought that was a very good thing. I was like, oh no, don't kill Rory. Although I'm not that fussed, to be fair. I don't really like Rory that much, but he's a lucky man to be with Amy Pond. And yeah, and the trailer for the next one looks... 
Uh, I'm not going to really say much. The Uder back, but with green eyes. My opinion, they should stop reusing the Ood because you can't really do much with Ood. So I'm, I'm going to actually be very surprised what they can do with the Ood here. And the fact that the some sort of Time Lord apparently in this... Mm, I don't really like it how the fact that, oh right, Time Lords are dead due to a Time War. They came back in the end of time because... They used the master to get there. The master hid himself in a watch, pretended he was human, and then the doctor just happened to find him. Happened to find him, which was basically total coincidence. And now, there's a little girl who apparently is a time lord that can regenerate, and this older woman who is apparently the doctor's either mum or wife or something like that. I, I don't know, I, I didn't really pay attention in the trailer. And... I'm going to be surprised at what the excuse is for like how she survived or how these Time Lords survived or if they bring back the Time Lords completely. Although I would like to see either the Master back or the Rani, maybe. But uh, to be fair, I'd prefer the Master because I'm not too keen. Well, I think the Rani should have been used more, a little bit more. Maybe more than once in Sylvester McCoy era um, and I know that in Colin Baker's era there was a series that was cancelled and the Ronnie was meant to be in it but yeah in Sylvester McCoy era I reckon there should have been another Ronnie episode so yeah that is my very long review because I've been on blabbering on for a good while but yeah so 8 out of 10 that's my best so far and I, I I really think that this may be one of the best episodes from this series. It might not be, because there might be a better episode, but so far it is out of the three episodes I watched, so really I can't really say much. So, anyway, that's me over. Um, I will see you next week, or next whenever, whenever the next time I watch another episode. So, yeah. Bye.